Hello, I am James Dempsey, News Talk's cultural correspondent, and we're here in the Savoy Cinema on O'Connell Street for the Irish premiere of The Siege of Jadotville, the hotly anticipated Netflix original movie about Irish soldiers keeping peace in the Congo in 1961 and all hell breaking loose while they're there. Tell me, what did you know about Siege of Jadotville before you got the script? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like most people, I guess. And I thought it was such an exciting story. It was like Zulu. It was great that Alan Maloney dragged it and Richie got it all together. To, to it's your first feature, so how, how, you know, how did you approach it? I mean, I just approached it like any job, really. I just sort of started with breaking down the story, but I developed the story, so I had a great insight into it. Uh, and then once you get into the production of it, it's really just the practicalities. You know, I've been directing for a long time, so it wasn't that difficult. What was it like when you pulled on the soldier's uniform for the very first time? It's, you carry that weight with you quite easily, you know. It's, uh, well, not easily, but it become very easily aware of how important it is to wear something like that. We were all very aware of the history of, of the story and what all these guys had gone through then and subsequently so we all knew how important it was. What kind of responsibility is when you're playing a real person even if he's not around anymore he's still got family around? It's a game changer I mean it, it completely changes your approach to the work you know we all tried to uh, do our best to uh, honor these guys and, and what they went through. Um, you know, you don't feel like you're, you're playing in a work of fiction. It, it feels like um, the history and, uh, you know, we, we tried our best to, to bring the, the history to life and, and try to make these um, characters as accurate um, as, uh, as possible and as authentic as possible. For you, though, it's a bit different because for you, this is very much a family affair. Uh, Commandant Quinlan was your yeah. grandfather. Could you just tell me, tell us a little bit about what it meant for, for you and your family? Well, for me personally, it was the dream first job. I got it out of acting school, so I was very, very lucky. Um, and th there were many different directors tried to make the film over the years, and like since I was about 14, they've been trying to make them. It was a dream of mine to just get in one of them, get in it, and it happened, and dreams aren't supposed to happen, but there you go. Obviously a lot of pressure playing not only a real man, but having his grandson on set as well. How was that? Yeah, well, nobody told me that was going to happen until um, we were day one of boot camp, I think it was, and I was speaking to Connor, and you know, I just I just knew him as Connor, and we were chatting away, and then he seemed to know quite a lot about Quinlan, and then he informed me that he was indeed his, his grandson. I felt a lot of pressure very early on when I, when I heard that, and then you try to just forget about that and, and, and not let that influence uh, how you approach playing him, you know. Um, but we never fell out or anything, so I presume he was... Uh, <laughs> We should I hear what he was saying about you earlier. Yeah, right? I can imagine, I can imagine. Obviously a very action-packed film. What was the boot camp training like? Yeah, it was great. You know, we did a boot camp for two weeks before we started filming, which was great for the physical aspect of it, but also um, for bonding with the other lads, you know. Um, I never met any of these actors before, so um, it was lovely to spend some time with them in quite an intense situation so that we all felt like, you know, a band of brothers when we started filming. And, um, you know, they're all great, great boys.